Hey, this is Connor from Alpine Fabrication. Today I'm gonna to be showing you one tool that has changed the way that I fabricate. If you're new to Alpine Fabrication, this is where I'm overhauling my Samurai into a fully custom rock crawler. Nearly every piece on this Samurai has been custom built from raw sheets of steel, turning my 3D models into CNC plasma cup parts. Today we're gonna to be talking about this tool. And to be honest, by the end of this video, you're probably gonna be asking yourself, why didn't buy this sooner? And I'm thinking the same thing, especially when this has a price tag of under $25. Well, this is called a contour gauge. And essentially what the goal of this is, is to transfer contours and shapes into your design. So to actually put this to use, if you want to put some sort of bracket on this tube, you can essentially push this over top of it and it's gonna start forming around it. And basically what this is, is a bunch of different metal teeth that are just moving in the center section. So just as easily as that, I was able to essentially get the radius of this tube that I can then transfer to my design. Well, if you haven't already fallen in love with this tool, let me show you a few different use cases as to why I think you're going to need it. Throughout the build of this Samurai, I have custom designed way too many parts and I've always defaulted to either using cardboard or tracing the object in Inkscape or SolidWorks from a picture. There's a time and place for all of these methods, but this tool would have saved me countless hours of trimming cardboard to try and find the ideal shape for my design. Take a look at this knuckle gusset, for example. I sat here for about 20 minutes, trimming away cardboard through trial and error, when I could have just had this tool and mapped it out in less than 10 seconds. Well, I think you can guess that I'm loving this gadget, but before I can have full confidence in it, I think we need to put it to the test to see if it's actually practical when designing a custom part. So what I think we should do today is use this when we're designing our bump stop pads for the front of this three link suspension. I think by the end of this, I'll have a good idea if this tool is actually useful and practical or if it's just kind of a flashy gadget that's gonna sit in the back of the toolbox. So we're coming into this design of the bump pads with a little bit of background. In the previous video, I threw these air shocks under the Samurai and when I was cycling the suspension, I ended up marking out the ideal location of where I think these pads should be to give us the flattest spot and hopefully set us up for the future when we mount the bump stops to the frame of the Samurai. So our focus today is just to get a flat surface, try to make it rigid. We're not gonna do any final welding because I'm gonna pull this whole housing out. We can clean everything up and we can get it welded in properly in the future.
Well, I think it's pretty clear that this tool is speaking for itself. The contour gauge is just saving me so much time. It's just reducing all the need of having to go back and forth with cardboard cutouts and making sure it fits right and just iterating back and forth with a knife or a blade of some sort. But not only is this saving me time, but it's also giving me a lot more confidence in my designs because I know that the first part that comes off my CNC table is going to fit the way that I expect it to because I have a way better way of producing the contours that I need for it. Well, as the example for this tool, we built that bump stop pad and you saw that it wasn't ideally perfect. Um, there's a few things I wanna improve on it. When I pull that whole axle housing out onto the fab table, I have a really good opportunity to make it look a little bit prettier, to weld it in properly, and then to make sure that it actually fits with the style of bump stop that I buy. I definitely recommend that you all check out this product. I'm gonna throw a link in the description. They sell a bunch of these on Amazon. I'm sure you can find them at your local hardware stores as well. And they're definitely cheap. They're under 25 bucks. This one is actually only 14. If you choose to click through the link and purchase through Amazon, you'll definitely be kicking back a bit as it's an affiliate link. So you're helping out the channel, which I really appreciate. At the start of the video, I mentioned that I was putting the air shocks in in the previous video. If you haven't checked that one out, I definitely recommend you do because I was really proud of the final product. I think it looks really good and it's really tidying up this front axle and getting us one step closer to driving this thing on a trail. So check that out. Thanks for supporting the channel and we'll catch you next time.